Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a book review for you guys. It was on a book that I just finished this last weekend and it was so, so good. I totally got sucked in and didn't want to put it down. So I'm excited to share it with you guys today. It actually comes out tomorrow, so keep an eye out for it and I'll leave a link below to where you guys can pre-order a copy from Amazon if you guys decide to. But otherwise, I'm just going to jump right in because I can't wait to tell you all about it. It is called On Second Thought by Kristen Higgins, and it was a beautiful story. This is about two sisters who have never really been that close, but because they are going through a situation that is extremely tragic, one more so than the other, they end up coming together and having these moments where they can bond and grow closer together, and they end up actually helping each other heal. This is a story about loss and laughter, and out of all of this comes a new love. It was expertly written between heartbreak and heartwarming, and the only thing that I didn't like about this was the first hundred pages. I felt like it was just so slow pace-wise, there wasn't much happening in the story, I felt like they were giving me way too much information on some of the characters, and I just felt like it just needed to kind of be like, here's what's happening, throw me into the situation, and then let me learn as we went. So I felt like I was just really struggling, wasn't being pulled into the story, I wasn't, um, like interested in really picking it up. It was just like, eh, okay, whatever. Then I got to this, you know, 100 pages and that threshold and everything flipped. It was so fantastic and I loved the 180 of the story and I'm so glad that I stuck to it. Now there are many things that I loved. One of them being that our main character was actually a photographer. So I don't think we ever see enough where photographers are actually making a career and it's not just a hobby. So I love and appreciate when I get a character that is a photographer. And the other part was the Graham Graham. She was so funny and hilarious, and those moments gave me so much joy. She really did remind me of the grandma from the Stephanie Plum series by Janet Ivanovich, so if you enjoyed those, you'll get a kick out of this grandma as well. It was just super funny, and those lighthearted moments that were really necessary when sometimes the story could get a little heavy. But what I really loved about this book were the romances, and holy cow, were they perfection. It didn't feel forced, they were natural and believable, and the way that it shed light on these stereotypes and the person behind them was absolutely incredible. There really is something that just makes me turn to mush when there is this big tough man exterior and it starts to crack and you start to see the sweet, kind, maybe shy kind of guy that starts to come through and realizes that he loves this woman that's been in front of him this whole time. And maybe he's not just realizing it, or maybe he is, but whatever the situation is, it was absolutely beautiful and charming, and I was a giddy little schoolgirl reading this one. While I might make this book sound like it was super straightforward, it definitely wasn't. There was a lot of heartbreak, there were nervous breakdowns, and a lot of complicated emotions. But I think that's what made this so beautiful, because there were a lot of complex and deep characters and we got to see these kind of showcased and peeled back and you really got to know them. You feel connected, you feel for them, and you also just really connect and understand them because all these little flaws that are released really just make them more relatable. I was on the fence about giving this a four or five stars. I ended up giving it four stars just because that beginning I still couldn't shake the feeling that it just didn't, you know, pull me in and I found myself stalling. But once that flipped happened, anything after that was definitely a five star. So I would maybe give it a four and a half. I don't know. I'm somewhere right in between. But this was so great, and I definitely appreciated the nice balance between all the heavy emotions and then the lighthearted ones. And then again, just leaving me on such a positive up end, like super great feeling. So I really enjoyed this, and I think this is perfect for anyone looking for a like contemporary romance or just, you know, something feel good ish, you know, because there's some definitely some heavy emotions in there, but it was really good. I really loved it, and I look forward to more from Kristen Higgins, so thank you to Little Bird for sending this my way. This was my first book of hers, and it will not be my last. Definitely enjoyed the writing, and yeah, so I just definitely look forward to it. Again, if you guys are interested in this, the link is below. It comes out tomorrow. I hope you guys will read it and let me know what your thoughts are. Um, again, I just can't rave enough about those little romances that happened. There were not one, but two of them, and they were both exactly what I wanted, and um, it was just perfect and just, yeah, I'm still like gushing over it and I can't get over it. So hopefully you guys will pick it up. Again, let me know what you thought and I will see you guys next time. Bye.